You were listening to your radio at a high volume? Yeah, what's the big problem? Can't a man listen to his radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. George, can you believe a word this witness says? What he heard was probably nothing more than a drumbeat from the radio. True enough, it is difficult to believe this testimony. Wait, Your Honor. The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Excuse me? DJ? An announcer. The guy who says things on the radio. Anyway, what this means is when he heard the sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. V very well, Mr. Wright. I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. Jeez. Da da da. Blah blah blah. So Phoenix mentions the DJ. Hold it! What did he say? Mr. Wright, please cease the pointless questions. What possible good could knowing what a radio DJ said do us? Indeed, Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question only if you see some reason why we should care. We should care. We should care, Your Honor. Of course we should. Why? Uh, well, how do you know if we don't ask, hmm? Fine, very well. Mr. Buck, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when she said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard the gunshot. Wait a second. Almost Christmas? It was already Christmas Day, according to the testimony by Lana yesterday. OBJECTION! Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with the face? He looks scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy. Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas, when he heard the gunshot. Indeed. And? Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Do you realize what this means? When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. But that contradicts the two testimonies we've heard so far, Your Honor. Both Miss Hart and the old man said it was after midnight when they heard the shots. In other words, when they heard the gunshots, it was already Christmas. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. Order, order. What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Dodge, the answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. Suspicious. What? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think about Mr. Butts' claim he heard the gunshot before midnight? Larry's right, actually. Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight. <sighs> Intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Show me evidence there was a gunshot before midnight. See? Look at that. 1224 at 1150 p.m. Take that! Look at this photograph. Do I really seriously have to make that joke again? Jesus Christ. This was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads December 24th, 1150 p.m. Oh, yeah? Hmm? But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor... The real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all. What do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was, a, it was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That is why this photograph was taken. In other words, when Larry heard that gunshot, it was most definitely Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that it, uh, that is the case. Then where does that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. This is a f it is a fact that the camera also triggered 15 at 15 minutes after midnight. Your Honor, that night there were two sets of gunshots with a 25 minute pause between them. 
Why would this be? Don't be fooled, Judge. That camera was set to respond to loud noises. Yes? There is no proof that the loud noise at 1150 was a gunshot. Why, the witness could have sneezed triggering the camera. But hey, my nose was clear that night, man, clear. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, there is no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 p.m. was indeed a gunshot? Please show us the uh, show the court evidence if you have any. Of course we got something. We got the pistol. Take that! This is my evidence. The murder weapon? Something about this pistol was bothering me, Your Honor. Both of the witnesses who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times! When, then, was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order, order. Hmm. That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Exactly. If this is true, there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50 and another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you, why? Uh-oh, I better think of something quick. Wait a second! Gunshots separated by 25 minutes. Ah! What's wrong, Nick? I have it! I have it! Huh? Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Huh? Yeah, of course I remember. The murderer in this case has the same idea as the murderer in that case. What do you mean? Maya? Yes? If we don't figure this out now, we'll never overturn a fourth guilty verdict. I've got a hunch, and I'm gonna run with it. Right, I mean, is this safe? Safe? We've already gotten a guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. You just watch and let me know if I say anything that's unsuspicious, okay? Right, Nick. Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> so you finally realized the truth? There could be no other murderer here than Miles Edgeworth himself. Wrong, Von Karma. A man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on the lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph. Defendant Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on that boat. There was a gunshot fired on that boat, and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. The distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Well? The guilty party has to be... has to be the other man on that boat. I admit, it is hard to imagine any other possibility.